Sydney traffic has once again ground to a halt after a truck driver ignored warning signs and almost wedged his vehicle in the harbour tunnel. Authorities warn it's only a matter of time until someone is killed. A stop sign doesn't get much more obvious than this. Tunnels across the city have been forced to install the water curtains because truck drivers are ignoring warning signs. I needed a barrier at the entry port of the tunnel. Now, in my mind, much as I'd like to put a hard physical barrier, you can't put things in front of vehicles doing 60 or 80 kilometres an hour. So I needed a virtual barrier, which would be imposing enough to stop the traffic. We'd improved our lights and signs, and particularly our variable message signs, uh, two or three years ago. And it was my belief at the time that these additional variable message signs with flashing borders and much better illuminated messages would stop motorists from entering the tunnel. However, when we had a fire, motorists were ignoring all the lights and signs. We had motorists driving right up to the fire site. I needed something to stop them. The soft stop will give the opportunity to prevent motorists or pedestrians, depending on where it is, from entering that area. The emergency service people, your response people, will still be able to walk through or drive through the screen to get you of the game without a physical barrier.